Hey, what are you thinking about? Worms? Hey, so am I. We're both thinking about worms. Well, that's amazing. I think about worms a lot. Right now I'm using a Northland Impulse worm. And you know, I've gone through quite a transition from... I used to use nothing but uh, real night crawlers. And my gosh, a dozen would last me about an hour. And they'd get all chewed up and eaten. And uh, the inside of my boat, the carpet, is just ruined from all the dirt inside the night crawlers using those over the years. And then kind of by accident, I went to a local store that a fellow had opened up in a neighborhood which people who want to go fishing don't normally go. And he was trying to sell fishing equipment. So I, I went over there trying to keep him in business and I would buy stuff from him. And one day he didn't have any earthworms. So what did he have? Well, he had Trigger X uh, night crawlers. And I tried those and my gosh, they worked really well for me once I ran out of worms. So I'm using a bottom, well, a three-way rig here, and I'm using a Trigger X worm on here. This is the first time, first day that I've ever really used these things. And my God, it's working really good. And from there, I ended up trying Berkeley Gulp. And the Gulp worked really well. I used those for, for many years. As a matter of fact, I probably used those for the years, you know, there's about five or six years I didn't post any videos. For most of those years, I was using Berkeley Gulp. And I used to get them in a pouch, and of course it's got some of this special magic fluid that attracts fish in that pouch with the worms. But it was kind of handy. There's about eight or nine in the pouch, and uh, I would carry them in the boat. And I used those all the time. They're, they, At one point, I think they changed the formula of them so that they weren't as sturdy anymore and they would fall apart easier. Uh, well, I guess they got to sell more to make money. You could also get the, the Berkeley Gulp in kind of like a big jug. And uh, that jug, you know, the lid never fit tight on it. So if you put that in your boat, it would be sloshing around and you'd have this special fish juice all over the boat. So I got to the point where I couldn't find them in the pouches anymore and I had to buy the jugs. And I wasn't really happy with that. And because they fell apart so easy, I had jugs full of little bits of worms, which I was probably never ever going to use. And then one day I went to get some gulp, and they didn't have uh, the jugs or the uh, in the pouches. And that's when I bought the Northland worms. The Northland worms, uh, for me, uh, I used them, and I, I wasn't too sure about them because they were a little bit thinner than what I was used to with the gulp. And uh, my gosh, you know, I used those when I ran out of worms and I caught fish like crazy. I thought it was terrific. And uh, so now I've been using the Northland worms for quite a while. The impulse worms are called. There we go. A nice eater walleye on the Northland, Northland impulse worm. Another little so are you thinking about worms? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about worms again. And uh, it's interesting that what's happening here is these fish are spitting out um, nice ready orange crayfish parts. And, uh, but I'm not catching them where there are crayfish right now. Just sort of off of the shelf. Right behind me is a feeding shelf. And uh, these fish have spent all night long eating crayfish, which are going through their molt right now. And uh, then they move just off of it into deeper water, and they are just digesting their meal. And walleye are opportunistic feeders. So one of these little guys here goes by their nose, and they just can't resist it. And they chow down. And they're about the same color as, uh, you know, crayfish and some, you know, I guess, with the fish eyes. And so, yeah, it works pretty well. I caught one here in the shadow, so it's probably a walleye in the shadow. It's a bite. Look at that, okay? Whoa! There you go. Thank you. Quick release. I like that. I don't want to have to handle a slimy pipe right now. So yeah, the pike like the uh, the Northland impulse worms as well. 
everybody likes the Northland Impulse. So if you're wondering, I'm still using the same rig that I was using a couple of days ago and a couple of videos ago, and and that's being the uh, what a what's good for the Mayfly hatch, which is going on here, and that is the uh, sort of a gold. I'm using a smile blade, but you can use any kind of a blade. A couple of brass beads and a couple of hooks and part of a part of a, a plastic crawler. I happen to be using. Uh, Northland uh, tackles, I uh, forget what they're called, but uh, they work really well for me. And a little smaller now. There she goes. And there's part of my Northland um, crawler, impulse crawler, that's what it's called. So this particular rig has probably caught a hundred walleye so far this year, it's hanging up well. This particular worm, I've probably caught dozens of walleye on it. Uh, I'm feeling bad. I, should, I feel I should put a new worm on because maybe it's lost some scent or something. I don't know, but it still seems to be working and catching fish. So. And then recently I decided I was going to try something different, and I tried the, uh, the Berkeley Power Bait. Now, I hadn't bought Power Bait before because, you know, gulp came with fish juice. Power bait didn't, so of course the power bait couldn't have been as good, right? And now that I've been using the Northland Impulse worms, they didn't have fish juice, they caught fish just as well as the gulps did. So I tried the power baits, and you know what? The power baits, they catch fish too. Just, you know, you can't tell any discernible difference between the gulp and with the power bait and with the, the Northland Impulse worms. Not bad. If I was eating pike, that would be a good size to eat right there. And I still get to use my uh, Berkeley power bait for one more fish. A friendly neighborhood seagull there waiting for a share of food. Assuming I can get them up this way. There we go, that's a little bit better of a walleye. This one here, I think that's probably too big for the seagull to eat. That was on, um, that was on my power bait. And so I've been using the power bait and comparing it to the Northland, um, here I'll show you. So the two baits I've been using are the Impulse by Northland and the uh, Power Bait. Notice this one says 18 times longer, this one 143% more scent. To tell you the truth, they both work really well for catching fish. And I like this better, I think, because it lasts longer. And uh, these tend to get bit off, and you don't know it, so you're going down there and you only got a part of a worm on then you don't really have the confidence. You find yourself, because you know it gets bit off, you're pulling the, uh, you're pulling your bait up to check it rather than having your bait in the water catching fish. So these are a little bit bigger. These are a little narrower, but uh, these work as well and they last forever. It seems like, um, well, as you can see, I was using the power bait and this one's gone. Whereas if I was using 
impulse, it would still be on there. So now I have to put on my second last power bait. And when I'm out of power bait, I'm probably not going to buy any more, unless I have to. I'll be buying the, uh, the impulse. I actually have lots of the impulse, I just wanted to try out the power bait. So that's my uh, impression so far. I'll keep you posted. Flying fish. There we go. Very nice. Isn't that a beautiful view behind me? Isn't that just wonderful? That is just lovely. What a day. So what's the difference between the uh, power bait and the Northland impulse worm? Well I found this uh, power bait laying in the bottom of my boat. It would be the last one that I have. It's all chewed up as you can probably see. And if you take a look, this one over here is the Northland impulse worm. You see it's, when you see them side by each you'll see that it's quite a bit uh, narrower. So that did concern me at first, but you know what? When I found out that they can caught fish pretty good, uh, it kind of won me over. And like I say, it lasts forever. But that's the difference. This one here is a little bit wider. This one here is a little bit narrower. This one lasts forever. This one here not so much. But they both catch fish. Uh, but the power bait are kind of like the gulp and that they fall apart quite easy. Um, you know, they don't last very long. I can use the impulse worms last a long time, but the, the power bait don't. The Trigger X, I think they went out of business. I don't think they sell the, those anymore at all. So I haven't seen those in years. But uh, anyway, so uh, that's kind of like my thoughts about worms. So, if, uh, you know, I'm pretty cheap. And so I like my worms to last a long time. Which leans me towards the Northland Impulse worms. But if you're in a store and you see anything, you see the gulp or you see the Northland Impulse worms or you see the power bait, you know what? They're all going to catch fish for you. And, um, you know, you can buy any of those. If you're cheap like me, you'll probably buy the Northland because they seem to last forever. Oh, yeah, I got a worm story for you. So, like, you know, I used to use regular real live night crawlers all the time and then I started using uh, plastic worms and at the time I was using for several years I was using the gulp night crawlers and I was out fishing with another friend of mine and uh, he was using real night crawlers and he was out fishing me and he offered me one of his night crawlers but I was a little bit too proud I was determined that my gulp was going to catch some fish so what I did is I cut the gulp in half and put it on a slow death rig and magically I started out fishing him. So it's interesting, I always figure that uh, you know real night crawlers when times really get tough and the bite gets really light, kind of hard to beat real night crawlers. That um, you know that that's that's something that'll always work for you and sometimes the plastics won't work it seems but I found that you know the plastics still work and that's what um, that's what slow death was designed to do, was to be very, uh, for that light bite. And uh, my gosh, it, it does work for that light bite. So yes, you can make plastics work for just about everything. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind if you're out and you're using real night crawlers and the night crawlers uh, that you have, or suddenly you're out of them and you need something and the bite is light, you can still use your plastics. Just cut it in half, put it on a slow death, you'll do well. So what are your thoughts on using plastic worms? What's your experiences? Please put them in the comments below and let's hear what you have to say. Are there any plastic worms that you use that I haven't tried that you would suggest that I try? I'm open to trying them. So if you enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button and like the video. And if you'd like to be notified of more videos when they get uh, put online, please subscribe. I appreciate that. And uh, once again, thanks for watching.